How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video here on Brass Bang and I am pumped to bring you another video today talking about holsters, but not your traditional holster belt setup that you're probably used to. I want to introduce to you the Filster Enigma. This is a very uh, interesting concept. It's kind of like a chassis system where the holster is built in and it's an all-in-one thing. You can wear it with athletic shorts. You don't have to wear a belt with it. Uh, but anyways, don't want to get into too much detail. Let's get the video started. I'm going to go over what it is why there are some huge benefits and upsides to this and also a few cons and downsides that I've noticed with this as well and what my thoughts are comparing this Filster Enigma to like your standard kind of traditional holster that you would wear on a belt. So let's get into the video and get started talking about this Filster Enigma. So I'm sure most of you, when you entered the concealed carry world, when maybe your first gun, maybe your second gun, you started concealed carrying and you picked up a holster very similar to this one. This is just a, uh, a nondescript holster from a uh, local gun store that I had found. Um, it's got a simple little clip here that clips onto the belt and I threw a little wedge on the back of it so that it kind of pushes it out so the gun's not tilting out. It kind of tilts the gun back in towards you. Um, but other than that, very basic, simple holster. I'm sure most of you are used to and very familiar with this concept. But what if there was a potential solution that solved some of the downsides and fallbacks and drawbacks of something like this? Because as you know, with these traditional holsters, there's a few problems that arise. The main one being that you, it requires a belt. You have to be wearing a belt to clip this onto. If you're wearing something like athletic shorts, like. I'm wearing right now, these the waistband isn't strong enough to support the weight of a gun, and it's definitely not going to secure this clip when you go to draw the gun. The entire holster is going to come up with it. So the main thing is that you have to be wearing a belt and therefore pants with belt loops like your jeans, khakis, etc. And so it kind of limits you on your wardrobe attire that you can wear with it. And that's the main real drawback of a holster like this. Other than that, they're pretty solid. They are a decent option, except for the fact that you have to wear a belt. So that is where the Filster Enigma comes in. This thing, it's, it's a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I showed it to my wife when I brought it home and she was like, what the hell? is this where where you've gone off the cliff you've gone off the deep end what the hell are you doing uh, it's kind of a lot i'm not gonna lie and this isn't even all of it it even comes with a leg leash that hangs off of this and you would strap around your thigh um, but i actually have ditched that and we'll talk about that here in a few minutes but it basically is this strap and so you strap this around your waist and then the holster is kind of built into this chassis system here this this piece here supports all of this it holds the strap it holds the holster and it's all kind of one big chassis system as they call it, but one big piece and you can get it for a variety of guns. I have here my Glock 43X, um, but they make it for a bunch of different gun options out there. So right off the bat, first impressions, as I mentioned, was that it was just a lot. There's a lot going on here. It's very like complex compared to just putting a belt on, throwing the holster on, and going about your day. This is like weird and different for sure. It takes a little bit getting used to, it's a little bit quirky. But if we can get past those things, there are some really big upsides and key benefits that this offers over the standard holster we just talked about. The main thing being that with this strap that it comes with, it kind of eliminates the need to wear a belt. You could wear it underneath of a belt, but the real benefit is that if you are wearing athletic shorts like I am wearing right now, I can strap this around my waist under the athletic shorts, pull them over top, and then I can conceal carry in pants that don't have belt loops or take belts and I don't have to wear a belt. And over top of all of this, I'm gonna be showing you guys B-roll shots of me at the shooting range, doing draws from concealment, wearing this Filster Enigma, wearing athletic shorts. I wanted to make sure I wore something casual, comfortable to demonstrate what this is capable of. Beyond that, it does also have a claw here on the back to push out against this chassis system. So when it's strapped around, that will pull the butt of the gun in towards you to help with concealment, making concealing this a little bit easier. And I have actually found concealing with this Filster Enigma setup to be far more effective and easier 
than trying to conceal the same gun in a holster on a belt. It just seems to work a lot better with this chassis system. It kind of just pulls the entire gun into you and makes it all kind of form fitting against your body. And that leads me to the second main benefit of something like this. And that's that it has made concealing a weapon so much easier and more comfortable. So concealment wise, I've already told you that it made concealing the same weapon way easier than on a belt holster. But then beyond that, the comfort that you experience when wearing this compared to a belt holster, it's just night and day different. Something like this is vastly more comfortable than the same thing in a belt holster. It's just, I think, I think the main thing is that with the belt, in order to get that real concealment that you want, you have to kind of cinch it down and make it really tight. And then you have this tight gun and holster being squished into your stomach. And it's really uncomfortable, especially when you sit down and especially when you sit down for a long period of time. Whereas with this, it's all kind of built in and it somehow, I don't even know how it does it, but it conceals it without having to make it ridiculously tight. And then also because this is now strapped to your body, not your belt, it makes moving around and your range of motion so much better than in a belt holster. I know for me personally, wearing belt holsters like the one I just showed you guys, if I'm trying to like stretch or kick or a bunch of movements and I'm like testing out my range of motion, I'm really not that mobile wearing a belt holster. It kind of limits my range of motion more than I would like it to. Whereas with this, I am fully capable of doing pretty much everything. It's not like it's 100%. You do have still a weapon sitting right there, but it has made it way, way easier. I've tested it out. I can kick, I can punch, I can uh, squat. I can do all the movements that you would need to do in daily life with this on and it's way more comfortable than trying to do the same with a belt holster. And the last big benefit that this offers over a traditional belt holster is that it allows you to conceal when you have your shirt tucked in to basically make it completely unnoticeable to bystanders out there. No one would be able to know that you have a gun on you. When you have your shirt tucked in with the traditional belt holster, this little clip here is going to be sticking out over the top of your belt. So even when you have your shirt tucked in, if you tuck it in around the gun, it's still going to show on top of the belt that you have this clip. And if people are smart enough, they'll figure it out that there's a holster underneath of there. Now, ditch that. This here makes it so much simpler to conceal underneath of a tucked in shirt. You literally throw this on, tuck the shirt in over top, put your belt on over top, and no one would be the wiser, and it conceals very, very easily underneath of a tucked in shirt. Now, kind of to recap all of this, the big thing that this offers is you can dress around it. You don't have to dress for the gun or the holster. You put this on and you dress around it however you like. So if you want to wear athletic shorts today, you throw this on, put on your athletic shorts and t-shirt and go about your day. If you want to wear dress pants and a dress shirt, you can do that as well with this underneath of it. It doesn't matter what you want to wear, it will work with this. You no longer have to pick your attire and your wardrobe outfits according to whether or not you're concealed carrying or whatever it may be. And that's the biggest factor is that when you're wearing this, you can wear whatever you want and if you're like me up until recently and all you have is one of these traditional belt holsters uh, I would like to say that I can still carry it every single day but that just wasn't the case it was maybe half of the days three-fourths of the days um, definitely more often than not but definitely not all of the time either because there's just so many times where it's not easy, not practical uh, to conceal carry with one of these holsters. What I was doing for the longest time was I would put a belt on put the holster on and then pull my athletic shorts up over top of the belt and holster and do it like that and it kind of worked but one you have the hassle of having to throw on a belt when your outfit didn't already dictate wearing a belt and two it just wasn't very comfortable and it just wasn't an efficient proper solution. Fast forward to now with the Filster Enigma and I have been concealed carrying every single day. And sometimes even when I'm at the house just hanging out because it's comfortable and I forget I even had it on. What I was doing before was I would only put the holster on when I was going out of the house, leaving to go do something, run errands, whatever. And as soon as I got back, I would rip the holster off because it was uncomfortable and I hated having to wear it. Uh, but I felt it was something I needed to do, so I kind of put up with it most of the time. But with this, I put it on in the morning, and I could go about my day and totally forget it's there until the evening. And I don't have to worry about taking it off every time I come in and out of the house. It's just something that you, once again, dress around 
and you can forget about it. Now I've been singing high praises for this Filster Enigma and I do want to point out I am not paid or endorsed by Filster in any way, shape or form. They have no idea I'm making this video. I bought this with my own money and uh, they're not affiliated with this video in any way, shape or form. And I'm glad that's the case because I do also have a few cons to point out, a few downsides that this brings as well. And it really comes down to two things. The first thing being that in order to wear this, if you're already dressed, you sort of have to undress a little bit to get it on, put it on, and then redress. So the ideal way to wear it would be to put it on in the morning before you get dressed, before you even put your pants on. I know that sounds weird. And then put your pants on, put your shirt on, go about your day. Let me demonstrate that for you guys so you can understand it a little bit easier. Because this needs to go under my athletic shorts, kind of weird, but I have to actually like pull my pants down to like mid thigh. Sorry for the uh, intimate moment here, guys. Uh, pull my shirt up, strap this around me, pull my shirt up over top of it, and then pull my pants back up over top of the Filster Enigma. And now I'm good to go, but it's just a little bit weird and odd, especially if like, like my wife will be staring at me. We're about to go out and do something, and she's like, "What the hell are you doing?" Like I'm sitting there pulling my pants down in the middle of our middle, middle of our kitchen, trying to get this holster on. So it is a little bit more of an extra step, and it can be a little bit awkward trying to put it on. But once you have it on, you're good to go, and it conceals super super easily. And then unfortunately you do have to repeat the same thing when you take it off. If you come back in for the day and you're done, you want to take the holster off, uh, you kind of have to once again pull your pants back down to like mid thigh, unclip it, take that off, and you obviously have to pull your pants back up. So it just creates a little bit of a couple extra steps that you have to do. And it can be, once again, a little bit awkward. If you were out in public, you can't exactly take this on and off easily because you can't be just pulling your pants down randomly. So a couple of creative solutions might be required there. And the second downside that this presents is there is no way to truly control the perfect ride height. And what I mean by that is sitting out just like this perfectly, you can get a clear, easy draw stroke. You have plenty of space here to get your hand in, to grab the gun and draw. But when you're wearing it, you have to pull your pants up over top of the holster. And what happens is over the course of the day, if you start out right here where you have plenty of clearance to grab the gun, over the course of the day, your pants might ride up or the gun might settle down some over the course of the day. And then if you were to go and need to draw your gun, by that point in the day, your pants could have ridden up to like right here, almost the top of the gun. So you have very little real estate to work with to grab onto the gun and draw it out. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of exaggerating. It's not that big of a deal. And obviously I wouldn't be speaking so highly of this if it were a massive deal, but it's just something to be considered and something to think about. I'm not sure if it's on these screws or where they did it, but I have seen modifications where people threw one of those clips, like the belt clips that people have in the traditional standard belt holsters, they throw a belt clip somewhere on here just so that even if you're not wearing a belt, it can clip on top of the pants, but it controls the ride height so that when it's clipped over the pants, the pants aren't gonna ride up any higher than the top of that clip and it kind of keeps that consistent ride height for you. The last thing I want to say is that I did get rid of the leg leash. I found that, as I mentioned, it's already kind of a hassle to get it on. And when you add the leg leash into there, it gets even a little more intimate because then you have to reach down in between your legs, strap that leash around. And I found that the leg leash wasn't really actually doing anything. When I practiced draw strokes with and without the leg leash, I found that I was still able to get just as clean and concise of a draw without the leg leash. So instead of having that added hassle, I just got rid of it, took it off of here, and so I'm no longer using that attachment. But it does come on it. Some people might love it. It's just my personal opinion. It didn't make that big of a difference. Hey guys, me from the future. I realized I never actually gave a verdict, and I know I listed some pros, I listed some cons, but I never actually said what my final thoughts were on the Enigma, and they're all positive. I think despite those couple downsides, I absolutely love it. I cannot recommend it enough. It is a very solid buy. And for me, I'm pretty much done with belt holsters unless I'm wearing a belt and it just makes sense to wear a belt holster. But most of the time, the Enigma is gonna be the more comfortable option, the easier to conceal option, and uh, that's the way to go for me. So just wanted to add that I never actually kind of summed up my thoughts on the Enigma, but 
very, very positive. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to wrap this up now so it's not any longer than it already is. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this going forward. Leave your comments down below with thoughts and opinions on this filster enigma. Has your experience with it been good or bad? Would love to hear your thoughts. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.